Hi and welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. Now, this is my next review on a folding bike and it is the, ooh, the Dayon Speed P8. Now, I've got just as a comparison here the uh, Dayon Helios that I've also got and I'm just going to go through a few uh, little bits for you. Now, first off the bat, the PA is a steel frame, whereas the Helios is a aluminium frame. Now, although this is steel, it's a lightweight chromoly steel frame, so it's still a light bike. Still nice and easy to pick up, but definitely maybe a kilo and a half, maybe two kilos heavier than the, uh, the aluminium bike. So, if you're looking for a bike and you want ultimate lightness then the aluminium framed bikes are definitely the better not necessarily the Helios but the aluminium framed bikes are a bit lighter however the aluminium framed bikes are difficult to describe a little bit flighty they don't feel really solid and secure lovely to ride but when you're going fast and over a bit of rough ground they just don't feel as secure as a steel bike and the reason for that is there's a bit more weight bit more strength and there's a little bit of give in the steel so it's a slightly more compliant ride now when I go from the Helios to the speed it's really noticeable this is absolutely rock solid and lovely to ride now uh, spec wise they're very similar um, they've both got grip shift the Helios has got the Revo shift this has got the SRAM which is uh, in my opinion a, a, a slightly better system the, the gearing on this seems to be slightly different. I haven't counted teeth because it, it doesn't mean anything to me, but this is definitely quicker than the Helios. Um, and I think it's just because it's geared slightly differently. Uh, I can get this up to, in the same distance as that one, I can get this up to 30.5 miles an hour, no problem at all. Now, the, uh, the brakes on this one, um, they're avid which is um, quite nice. On this one, they're Dayhon Zone brakes. These are Avid brakes, and I prefer the levers on these because they're perfect for two fingers. I've got the Ergon uh, bar ends, which you can see there, and Ergon grips, which are nice. And I think they're a little bit more comfortable than the, the Biologic grips. So that's a nice feature. This is the slightly newer version with the handlebars that flip up um, for when you're folding it and uh, I'll show you that now actually quickly and first thing to do is to drop drop the seat down for some reason this one's just a little bit stiff but it's okay so just drop the seat down and then lock that off that's done the handlebars like to be sort of as far up as possible because I find it then gets them out of the way of things like the magnets and that and then you can just tilt them up or down I don't think it really makes much difference to be honest so once I've tilted the handlebars just flip them down and out of the way little latch unhitch it and then just swing round making sure the pedals are out of the way <laughs> swing it round and together like that and it becomes a quite a nice lightweight package the magnets hold it together you can fold the pedals as well and that would fit nicely in a bag and um, for you to take on a train or in your caravan or whatever so that's just quickly the folding and then to unfold it's uh, quite straightforward just flip that over flip up the handlebars lock that in position Pull the seat up to where you want it. Probably about there. Bosh. I'm just going to drop that handlebar down a little bit and then flip that forward to about, yes, yeah, about there. This uh, bike apparently ships with Schwalbe Big Apple tyres, but I've just got Schwalbe Marathon Plus tyres on it. So there you have it, just a, just a quick review really on the, um, the Dayhon Speed P8. It's a lovely bike. Don't be put off by the fact that it's a steel frame. It's still a really lightweight bike, but it's just that little bit more steady on the road. 
um, compared to the, the aluminium bikes and um, this is going to be the the bike that I'm going to be doing most of my riding on at the moment. So anyway this has been GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. Uh, watch this space for, I'm going to do a little comparison between the folding uh, standard bikes and the folding electric bikes just to give you my opinions on pros and cons of both and um, I'll see you soon. Cheers, bye.